Hi Floss Tube, my name's Kenny and this is my channel Kenny Stitches. Um, I'm also Kenny Stitches on Instagram if you're not familiar. Um, thanks for coming to my channel and watching my latest video all about cross stitch. Um, this is my May update, um, just a couple days late but better late than never. Um, so we'll just get into it. Um, we'll start off with some haul. Um, I made an order to double cross stitcher on Etsy. Um, and she had the latest, um, um, polar plunge patterns from Hands-On Designs. So I got the Puffin Pear and the Penguin, or Puffin Party and Penguin Pear. And then Kathy just announced on her latest floss tube that the Narwhal is coming out this week, I think. It's going to be a PDF only. And it download for you download it from her website and you support the Special Olympics. All the proceeds from the chart go to the Special Olympics, so that's pretty cool. Um, I also got a classic Christmas from Hands On Designs. Um, I think this was part of a class, maybe. I'm not sure, but it finally came out and it's really cute. And then I got this is the first tiny town I got, but the seaside tiny town is from uh, Heart and Hand. I won't finish it as a drum because I'm not that talented, but um, maybe, maybe I'll learn how to do a flat fold. I do want to try to learn how to do more finishing um, so I can, you know, FFO some things. Um, this was from a D stash on Instagram, the silver stitcher, I think. Um, Forever and Ever from the Cottage Garden. I have a lot of the bird series from her. Um, I was missing this one, so I picked it up. And I picked up some fabric that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, this is from, I think I got this from Sandra, Sandra Stitch Dash. It's the Brick House Sampler from um, Brenda Gervais. I've wanted this one and I still am looking for Indigo Lane. I haven't purchased it yet. I know it's still available, but I just haven't found it to get it yet. Um, Excuse the Mess from Shannon Christine. It'd be cute hanging in here because the room is a mess. <laughs> and then Rustic Christmas also from Shannon Christine. I love these. I love the plaid. These are super fun. Maybe turn them into some pillows, stitch them individually, maybe. And then I got um, the Summer Cottage from Dimensions Gold uh, kit. I picked it up off of a D-Stash group on Facebook. I love it because of the dogs here. It's been on my wish list. It's been my want kit for a minute. And I finally have it now, so. And then my... Last video, my kit parade, I showed all of my Disney Dreams kits and I said that I was missing just a couple and I was really looking for the Lion King was one I really wanted to pick up. And one of my subscribers, she reached out to me and she said she had it and she would, you know, sell it to me at a decent price. So it's it came after several snafus with the post office. Um, she labeled it correctly, the post office labeled it incorrectly and it got sent back and then they relabeled it and sent it again to the same place. So she finally just shipped it at FedEx and it finally came. So now I have all, I mean, it's all there. It's, it's open, but everything's there. She was very nice about it. Um, she's super sweet. Um, so I'm happy to finally have that. Uh, I, let's see. The D stash um, that I got from the Silver Stitcher on Instagram. Um, these are the two fabrics I got. This is a 28 count Lugana. Um, it's a whole lot of love from Color Cascade Fabrics. I think they're in Australia. And that's pretty, pretty close right there. And then the other one is also a Color Cascade fabric. Um, I think it's a 28 count Lugana. It's um, Oasis. 
It's really pretty blue and there's some pinks and purples kind of mixed in there. I don't have a lot of color cascades because they're from Australia, but the ones I do have, they're really very well done. Then I took place in the last fight night from Be Stitch Me Fabrics. Um, I said I wasn't gonna look and then I got up the next day and there were some that weren't claimed and some that I just kind of me next it on in hopes that maybe I got them. Um, this is a 46 count. It's called Petunia. It's a really soft kind of bubble gum pink. I don't know what I'll do with any of these, but the FOMO, <laughs> you have to claim them. Um, this is a 40 count ethereal. I thought maybe like an autumn lane pattern on it, like with the black, majority black maybe. Something kind of spooky might look good on it. This is a 46 count no name fabric. Kind of like an orangey peach color for a sampler or something maybe. <clears throat> then, this is a 46 count beehive color is the name. Really buttery, kind of yellow color. Then the last Fight Night fabric I got was a 40 count cinnamon. And this is Saturday, Fight Night was last night and I told my friend Debbie, Mama Bear Citry that I wasn't gonna look and then her and my friend Carrie both reminded me it was fight night and I looked and I got three more fabrics. So those will be in my next video. <laughs> um, I did get my fabric of the month from Brandy um, for May. Yeah, um, I get the color and the neutral. Um, for the color, I get a 28 count Lugana and then I get a 40 count even weave for the neutral. Um, so this is fruit salad and that's pretty, pretty close there. Um, it's busy. It's pretty, but it's busy. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it yet. Maybe a little bit busier than something that I normally stitch on, but I'm sure I'll find something for it. <laughs> and then this is the neutral. It's 40 count even weave bronze age. I... I love all the neutrals I've gotten so far. I think this is my third, third month of Fabric of the Month from Brandy and I've not been disappointed yet. So if you're looking for a Fabric of the Month to be in, that's a great one to have. And I think she's got spots available. So check it out. Um, I got my Fabric of the Month from Under the Sea Fabrics. I got a 40 count even weave this time. This is Rose Hips. It's a little bit more pink than the camera is picking up, um, but it's really soft, neutral something. So then last Saturday, um, I took my friend Brandy. She's a coworker of mine. She's a really good friend. Um, I took her to our LNS for the first time for her, um, House of Stitches in Laporte. Um, if you're close or in the area, um, House of Stitches is probably the best LNS in Indiana, in my opinion. Um, they have samplers, they do framing, they have fabric, they have a lot of everything. So um, I got more than I anticipated, but I haven't been in two or three years. So um, I did pick up two skeins of Key Largo for the Polar Plunge series. Um, I kind of pulled all the threads and I picked, I knew I wanted the water to be variegated. Um, I didn't think, I'm just gonna stitch the rest of the colors with the DMC. So um, I think this should be enough to do all six if I use a 40 count or a 36. Um, I picked up all the threads, the specialty over dye threads for um, 
Lindy stitches into all a good night. Uh, my friend Carrie stitched the model. Um, so it uses four skeins of meadow, this bright green for the house that it is. Um, these are all Weeks Dye Works. And then a skein of Red Rocks. And a skein of Cadet. And Raspberry. And then I have more over dyes too that I picked up. And I'll show you what they're for in a minute. Um, patterns I picked up Button Button by Ink Circles. I thought this was cute when I saw it. Um, new release from Tracy. And then I picked up Santa Stops Here from With My Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais. Um, I got all the specialty threads. I got the bead. I, well, the wreath here uses like yellow beads from Hobby Lobby, but I just picked up a pack of petite beads that I thought would look good. And I got a piece of fabric. That, um, it calls for... Uh, Winter Brew by R&R, &R, 36 count. I got a 40 count Winter's Brew. Um, and there's the beads I picked up. And I couldn't resist. I started this Sunday. Um, we didn't have anything going on and I really wanted to start it. So you'll see that in a few minutes. Um, I picked up the Winter's Gift from Joan Elliott. I love Joan Elliott charts and her designs. I haven't finished one, but I do love them. Um, I picked up a couple witchy stitcher patterns. I've never bought anything from her before, but I really like these. Um, Halloween time. I love like this old time vintage kind of Halloween design. I love those. And then the frosted pumpkin cottage from witchy stitcher. And I almost picked up the carousel horse, the her carousel, but then I remembered that I do have that one. So I'm glad I didn't double buy it. Um, I, they had most of the new Mill Hill kits um, for the fall. They were out of the one that I wanted, but I did get the rest I wanted. Um, this is the Haunted Cottage. And then Wanda's Clothesline. And Hello Autumn. I wanted Into the Woods. Um, you can kind of see it right here. It's three black cats dancing through the woods. Um, but they were sold out of that when they said they sold out of that the first day they got them in. So um, I got Pet Spider. And then I got the Pumpkin Bouquet. Graveyard Pumpkin. And Bat Cat. They were out of um, the Turkey Owl. I thought about getting him. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about him, but they were out of him anyway, so maybe it wasn't meant to be had. <laughs> um, my friend Debbie, <clears throat> Mama Bear Stitchery, she finished her first long dog sampler, um, and she showed it in her newest video. Um, she finished Sansuki, and it was it turned out really pretty, um, and she wanted to start her next one almost immediately, and I said, well, I'll start one with you, and, you know, in celebration. And so I did have a new start. I started um, Before I Sleep, and I started up here in the top corner. And I'm using a 40 count even weave evergreen from Be Stitch Me and DMC 501. Uh, and that's where I got to. Um, she put hers away and so I put mine away. Um, that fabric's pretty close right there. That's actually pretty accurate. Um, we're gonna work on them together. So when she pulls hers out again, I will pull mine out again and we'll stitch on them together. She's stitching fish and chips now fish and ships um, so on a really pretty sparkly blue fabric so 
I really enjoyed starting that one, um, and I liked stitching on it. Um, the 40 count even weave is so good, so nice to stitch on. Um, my other whips that I worked on since my last video, um, this is Luda. I did her skin over one, and then I have all this flower done, and I'm working on her, her headband of yellow flowers. Um, this is a, it's a dying for you, I think, fabric. Um, it's an opal 28 count linen. It didn't have a name. My friend Jennifer sent me half, um, of her fat porter. And so I don't know what it's called. And I don't think she does either, but it is what it is. Um, my welcome to the North Pole from Primrose Cottage. Uh, the fabric is stoned wash, stone washed Opal Lugana. It's a 28 count from Under the Sea Fabrics. I have not, I did not finish this section um, like I wanted to. Um, I still have to do this bottom border here and then all the white snow across the top of this. There's like sm smoke from the train, then like snowflakes. Um, but you know, I'll pick it up in June and finish that section and start the next section. Um, the roof <laughs> has several, like the chart was, I don't know if it was printed incorrectly, but they charted it with um, just solid in the chart. Um, this was the first revision. Now I think there's another revision, but I kind of like the speckled like print there. And I'm using all the called for over dies and the DMCs, everything's as charted. Um, so that's where I'm at on that. I keep taking my Christmas projects to work and I stitch in the break room on my lunch break and everybody's like, it's June, why are you stitching on Christmas? It's like, because I want it done for Christmas. It won't be, but that's my thought. <laughs> um, I pulled out Wilbur from Teresa Kogut. Um, again, I'm using all the called for over dies. I think this ear right here has every over dye color, every, almost every color in it of the pattern. So um, when I started, when I got it out, I just had this little bit right here done. Um, and then I've done all this since I picked it up. Um, it's a 28 count opal, just white Lugana. And I'm using all the called for threads. Sorry about the needle minder. <laughs> um, so that's, He's so cute when he's done. Um, I'm ready to be done with his head because that's where the, all the color changes are crazy confetti. So, um, and then my last whip that I've worked on this month um, is a new start. I guess now it's a whip. Um, remember this? I started this. So this is where I've gotten to since Sunday on that. Um, I got all the called for threads, um, and it's 40 count from R and R Winters Brew. Um, I did get my needle minders here. I got I did a Timu order and I ordered like 14 or 15 pins and I made my own needle minders. So I'm having a very hard time putting this down. I love every stitch I've put into it so far. Um, my friend Carrie's working on it and she's a little bit farther than I am. Um, so I will keep working on this and probably rotate between this and the Primrose Cottage for a little bit, um, just to finish that section and get a jump on the next section. I know the stitch alongs in their group started and they started with section one. So I guess I'm ahead of the stitch along, but I'd like to finish section two and get a good start on section three um, this month. So, um, in my last video, I talked about doing a birthday stitch along, um, in August. And a lot of people said they were, um, you know, interested in taking part of it, whether it be a whip or a new start, it doesn't have to be a new start. Um, so I've decided that I am going to go ahead with the birthday, birthday sal. Um, and the theme is going to be, um, Alice in Wonderland or any literary slash fantasy sci-fi kind of theme um, of your choosing. It doesn't have to be 
And like I said, it doesn't have to be a new start. It can be a whip. Um, I'm going to use the hashtag um, un Kenny's unbirthday Sal um, because of the Alice in Wonderland, a very merry unbirthday. Um, so that's going to be, and I'll put that in the comments below. Um, I think I'm going to start, actually, I know I'm going to start um, Alice's Library, I think is what it's called, from Tilton Crafts. It's a full coverage. Um, I ordered my Easy Grid fabric for it, and I've started pulling the DMCs out of my stash for it. Um, so it's going to start August 1st. My birthday is August 7th. And, you know, you don't, it's not a strict style. Um, we can stitch, you know, on your project throughout the month of August and then, you know, use the hashtag on Instagram and Facebook or whatever so I can see, so we can share progress pics and everybody can see your, your projects. So um, I'll bring that, I'll, you know, talk about again in my July update or my June update, um, which will be probably... A couple days early or a couple days late, um, we've got a lot going on in the next few weeks. Um, our grandbabies are going to turn one on the 17th of June. And then July 1st, I have my, I'm going to see Taylor Swift in concert. Um, I don't think I've talked about that before, but me and my friend from work are going to go to Cincinnati and see her June, July 1st. Um, I've never seen her before, so I'm very excited. And then July 7th, we take off for vacation. So um, we're gonna go to Madeira Beach, Florida. We've never been. Um, we're very, we're looking forward to it very much. And um, so my June update will be either a couple days before the end of June or, you know, a couple days after July 1st. So um, it will, I will have one though. And I can't wait to see what everybody chooses for the sow. Um, if you're going to partake, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's projects and just kind of, you know, celebrating my birthday with stitching friends. So with that being said, I think that's all I have for my video, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys spending some time with me on this weekend and or whenever you're watching it. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys like the video or, you know, like my videos, comment like share subscribe my stuff i really appreciate it and everything you guys do um so i will talk to you guys at the end of june thanks guys bye